Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News in High Definition. On this Martin Luther King Day, we remember a group of African-American warriors from World War II, brave men who broke barriers, created a timeless legacy, and to this day continue to serve as role models. They are the Tuskegee Airmen. A new movie about them hits theaters this weekend. As David Ono reports, dozens of these airmen have roots in L.A. and have left an indelible mark in our community. Imagine living life 70 years ago as an African-American, enduring hate and prejudice. It was part of everyday life. Yet despite that constant disrespect, you still love your country so much, you're willing to fight and die for it. That is a Tuskegee Airman, who not only served this country, but did so above and beyond. The Tuskegee Airmen were a segregated unit of African-American pilots, the first ever to fly for the U.S. military. But to get there, they had to wade through hateful opinions. The military brass felt African-Americans were not capable of being pilots. The head man of the Air Force, he, he didn't think Negroes could fly. He said, as long as there's a in the world, he will never fly an airplane as long as I'm around. There were a lot of Negroes that... Uh, had more sense than they, they thought. They ignored the ill treatment and went on to forever prove that they were not only worthy of being fighter pilots, they were among the very best. Southern California's Lowell Stewart Sr. was one of them. Through his son, Lowell Stewart Jr., he tells me they did it for one simple reason. He's told me as to why they were so competent in what they did. Do you remember what you told me? You said, because we love our country. It was their motivation to prove their doubters wrong. That's why they fought harder, stronger, faster, just, just for that right. Their record so stellar, they earned a congressional gold medal, finally presented to them in 2007. Decades late, but an honor to finally get it. Very, very satisfying. It really is. Airman Ted Lumpkin from Los Angeles described receiving the congressional gold medal and how the President of the United States saluted him. He was saluting us because of the uh, many salutes that we did not receive and should have uh, during our, um, during our uh, time in the service. After the war, many of the airmen continued on with their unstoppable attitude, some breaking new ground in the military, others in civilian life. Stewart came back to LA, tried to buy a home, but couldn't because he was black. So we set out to change that, becoming one of the first African-American real estate brokers in the city and the first to help other African-Americans buy homes. I hadn't learned anything about the Tuskegee Airmen in school. Um, it wasn't until I came to Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum um, that I learned anything at all about the Tuskegee Airmen. Sisters Kimberly and Kelly Onyadike are the next generation of pilots influenced by the Tuskegee Airmen, even though their own history classes have taught them very little to nothing about the pilots. It was here in Compton they not only learned about the Airmen, they met them. And now these teenagers each own aeronautical records. Kelly, the first African-American female to pilot a plane coast to coast, and she did it with the Tuskegee Airmen by her side. And Kimberly, is the first to solo four different airships in one day. The Tuskegee Airmen inspired them. Their wish now is for more people to know the Airmen's story, citing their own accomplishments as their tribute to these World War II heroes. Instead of living life on the sidelines, the Tuskegee Airmen were able to step out and do something and be something different than what was expected of them. That's the reason why they're my heroes. Like, they proved that when everybody said they couldn't do something, they did it, and they did it the best. David Ono. Hmm. Thanks to that new movie called Red Tails, there are a number of events in town celebrating the Tuskegee Airmen. For more information on the Tomorrow Aeronautical Museum or the L.A. chapter of the Tuskegee Airmen, go to our website, abc7.com, and we will link you up. Mm, what a great story. And <laughs> yes. several of the Airmen were in the parade in the today. Parade. It was really special oh, to see them. I cannot wait to see the movie. It's yeah. going to be yeah. so much fun. Be awesome. Beautiful day in Southern California.